Mm, this is excellent. This place is called Pollo Royal. It's in uh, West Jordan, Utah, I think. Mm. Dude, pretty awesome. There's our salsa. And we're gonna go out and visit the owner's kids who are running a snow cone stand, the single focus. We'll go interview them. Maybe give them some IHF money for their efforts. Out in the hot sun, working. Not playing video games, but working. That's pretty cool, man. Pollo Royal with hard-working kids. Look at that kid. He's like wiping out his snow cone area, keeping it clean for his customers. Damn, son. We need to see that more from our youth, right? Yeah, we're going to encourage that with IHF, dudes. Pollo Royal. This isn't set up. This is what this guy's doing right now. I'm just filming it. This is a family-owned restaurant. <laughs> And as you can see, all the kids chip in. They have no idea who I am, by the way. Met this nice gentleman here. He and I are digging the food. Food's good, huh? Oh, yeah. Good. What do you like about this restaurant most? Uh, these, these guys, huh? I know, I know for a little while. I come in very often. You they come here all the time? They are good people. Yeah, they are good people. You can I've feel, been here before. You can feel that they have a good heart. Yeah. yeah I'm an belong to uh, church. I play music, so... I can feel when they have that food. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. They are a good family. That's the mom of the kids out front, by the way. I just talked to her, got her permission to film here. Talked to the dad, too, via the phone. En espanol. Hablo espanol también. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I do. Yeah, this place is impressive. And uh, it's all topped off because it has pretty awesome food. Really good food. Mm. These guys here are twins, brother and sister, right there. And the angle. They've gone through this whole room, sweeping everything up, keeping it super, super clean, wiping down the tables. That's an impressive place. I just got done talking with mom in Spanish, and she's ultra cool. She's the one behind the counter there. Really a cool place. I gotta keep showing this because this isn't made up. This is actually what's going on while I'm here. That guy's still working his snow cones out there. Check it out, dude. is do I give it there's the mom right there do I give the money to her I think I should because I trust the mom more than I do the kids <laughs> to use the money right <laughs> she's the one that cooked all this awesome food too just so good Tina Peters you got to come here Pollo Royal it's muy bueno So, Pollo Royal, this is a menu real quick. Highly recommended. Cocina todo? Tu? Sí, mi esposo. Oh, atrás? El cocinero quien es el? Él es preparador, pero mi esposo cocina todo el arroz, el food. Las recetas son tuyos? Familiares? Familiar. Okay, what we're talking about is like, who cooks? And she's like, I cook, my husband cooks, they are family recipes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Y los niños están ayudando bastante. Sí, ellos de, de su ayudar. propia voluntad. Uh -huh. Es de su voluntad, ellos les gusta trabajar mucho aquí en la casa. Hablo mucho de la gente que el don de saber cómo trabajar fuertemente es perdido en la sociedad. Oh, ¿Estás sí, de acuerdo? Sí, sí. sí. I'm sí saying a that mucha that gente no le gusta trabajar, en no le gusta. los muchachitos, muy los flojo. Son muy flojos ya. She's ya saying no. a lot of people are just lazy. They won't ya work no and we're talking a lot. Muchachitos trabajadores, ya no. 
Ya no, pero aqui sí. Ah, aqui sí, sí tengo. <laughs> I just love her. She's so cool. Por eso es de que eh, animo a mis hijos a trabajar y uh -huh. para she's que saying, sepan I, cómo ganarse el dinero. Okay, she's saying, I encourage my children to work. If you yeah. want money, you have to work. Yeah. To be good workers and not complain. Yeah. And that's what you're seeing right here at this restaurant. Yeah. Es la madre, ¿verdad? Le tu le madre. Yes. Oh, esposo? Hola. Oh, I talked to him on the phone. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Bien, bien. Me gusta el restaurante mucho. Gracias. La comida es sabrosa. También es muy limpio. I'm saying it's really clean, it's good. Y los niños son muy impresionantes. Trabaja, trabajadores muy fuertes. Gracias. Me gusta mucho. Tratamos de enseñarlos a que trabajen. Adelante. Ajá. Sí, porque es un ejemplo que nosotros les tenemos que dar a los hijos para que ellos puedan salir adelante aprendiendo que trabajando es como pueden superarse también. Y por supuesto, que no dejen los estudios, ¿verdad? Es muy okay, he's saying we teach them to work hard and but not to leave their studies aside to still be good students, estudiantes buenos, buenos. pero a, a la vez trabajando fuerte. Claro. But at the same time to be good workers. And I love this because this is such an encapsulation of I think the American dream. La, el sueño americano. Sueño americano. De cada quien puede llegar así. Claro. Aquí en este país, trabajar fuertemente, ganar dinero y tener una vida buena. Claro. So if you, anybody es. can come here and work hard and get the American dream. Pero yeah, este, este país nos da la oportunidad y pues gracias a Dios, nosotros como hispanos, trabajamos duro y nuestro esfuerzo ha demostrado que tenemos nuestro negocio y podemos enseñar a los niños que ellos pueden también triunfar y hacer al, algo en este país. He says this country is great because we as uh, the Mexico, the Mexico Hispanics, uh, Mexicans can come here and work and, and create a great life for ourselves and our children can take, uh, be part of that as well. But he knows very much that it's through work. It's, it's muy difícil, ¿verdad? Bien difícil es. It's very difficult to do what he's doing. That he, he, préstamos de negocio, ¿verdad? Es muy difícil por la situación de uno. Yeah. A obtener un préstamo para negocio. So it's hard que, to get a business loan. Yeah, así que nosotros con nuestro trabajo que hemos hecho por 15 años pudimos poner nuestro negocio. So it's taking you 15 years to make this place. Aquí en Utah tenemos 15 años viviendo. Viviendo. ¿Y cuánto tiempo tiene este restaurante? Este restaurante inició eh, gracias a uno de mis tíos. En el año 99, okay, el pollo existe. 2009, his, uh, one, su tío, Mi tío empezó okay, de... one of his uncles helped him to open it. But, by the way, let's look at the salsa bar. The salsa is awesome. And it's, this is all really, really uh, interesting, talking about el negocio. Pero la comida se prepara, no sé, está bien sabroso. It's really good food. So yeah, it's an interesting story we're telling here. Yeah, it's... El, el pollo rollo empezó en el año 99. Okay, started tío, 2009. Mi tío lo inició y en esta localidad tenemos ocho años ya bajo mi administración. Okay, he has eight years at this uh, location and he's uh, the manager. Yes. El gerente, más o menos así. Eh, el dueño. Eh, el dueño. El sí. dueño. Okay, está yeah. bien. Y ocho años trabajando duro en esta locación para satisfacer a nuestros clientes. Yeah. y que los clientes regresen porque es bien importante mantenernos fácil es llegar pero mantenernos yeah. es lo difícil okay what he's saying is that it's great to have customers who return he's like you can always get customers but you have to take care of them so they want to come back so he calls it uh, clientes regresados uh, uh, return, return uh, clients yes uh -huh. yeah yeah y pues gracias a Dios estamos en pie todavía <laughs> están pagando los billetes está bien el eh, dinero está vivimos, más o menos vivimos bien a base de nuestro trabajo porque trabajamos para nosotros mismos Entonces, he works for himself so yeah. no están ricos no, no somos son... ricos pero vivimos una ¿Cómodo? vida cómoda cómoda ok yeah. he's like the life is comfortable he's not getting rich doing this uh, but they're making it yeah. you're making it and the folks I talk to like these guys here haven't talked to that guy yet they are return customers so they Hayan comido anteriormente, hayan regresado. Ya, yeah, los clientes regresan mucho. Tenemos yeah. muchos clientes yo, yo, que también. regresan. Cuando estoy en el vecino, hey, uh, I remember today, I'll say this in English, I remember today, I was like, oh man, I gotta go to that. 
Pollo Roco, and it's right next to Harbor Freight, and I need to do an errand at Harbor Freight. It was a great place to come, so. Yeah. And I'm not even gonna ask this guy for a TMP discount. His prices are so freaking low anyhow. It'd be embarrassing to ask him to give you a discount, so forget it. Uh, okay, Padre. Well, I'll try to say this in Spanish. My Spanish is, uh, has high points and low points. Tengo un canal en YouTube. Como, como hablamos, ¿verdad? Okay. Como platicamos. Y quiero dar um, ánimo a los trabajadores del mundo, especialmente la juven los jóvenes, la juventud, la juventud como ellos. Uh, my viewers entregan a mí dinero para compartir a esas personas. Quiero entregar a ustedes unos dólares. ¿Está bien? No hay problema. Pero pienso que está bien que lo doy a la, la madre y el padre. <laughs> no tanto a los niños. ¿Está bien así? Sí, sí. ¿Es okay with you, dude? Es para ellos. Pero... Okay, let me translate. I keep forgetting I'm talking. And yeah, guys, I do speak Spanish fluently. Uh, again, I have good days and bad days. But uh, what I was telling them is like, I teach my YouTube audience um, about the lost art of work especially in our youth, and this is what he's taught his children, obviously. They are a mirror of dad. This is what I talk about in my philosophy videos. Dad has taught kids. Mom has taught kids. And this kid out here, he's the one working hard. He's been in the sun. He's still working. Era limpiando con washcloth. He's cleaning it and making sure it looked nice, selling his snow cones. It's just impressive. They know the business. They know the business. Ellos ya me pueden ayudar y... They know the business, and that's a skill you're giving them. And el don de trabajo, yes. es un don. Es un don. Yeah. yeah, and so you guys are so lucky to have these parents. La madre, el padre que está enseñándole. Right? By the way, these guys are twins. They're 10 years old, yeah. Yeah. born together. And I cannot get a word in edgewise between them. Yeah. I just love this place. I love the family. They're so cool. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Madre, uh, ¿cómo se llaman otra vez? Lydia. 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 Y Edgar. And Edgar. Edgar. Yeah. Okay, Lydia and Edgar. We're going to entregarles como cientos dólares okay. a ustedes, de my viewers, from Impressive Team. We're just giving them a hundred. I have low funds. If you want to send money, guys, send it at the top of the screen, cash only. I don't want checks. I don't want nothing else because I just, it's transparent to me. I just give it to people like this. Ese dinero va a ser para... Los niños que se motiven mm -hmm. a que inviertan en su negocio. Eso es lo que queremos. Que he's saying, he's saying, this money they're going to get today is going to motivate them in the work. To show them that work pays. And that these kids are not getting it por gratis. Están trabajando yeah, diariamente en el verano. Mientras, mientras los otros niños están jugando los, los uh, juegos de video. Y se paran temprano ellos a las 6 de la mañana aunque estén en vacaciones. De las seis de la mañana. Seis de la mañana. Six in the morning, they wake up and they come here to work. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, dude, that is so freaking cool. All right, so let's dig into the TMP IHF fund. I got some out here. These guys are just cool, dudes. I just get so excited when I can find people like this. Deserving. I'm taking the KTM out in the desert today to test some guns. See, I have two partitions in my wallet. The front partition is my money right here. And there's some stuff I'm not gonna show. And then the back partition is your guys' money. And I just keep that, always. So we'll go interview the dude. We're on the snow cone machine too before we end the video. 60, 80, 100, IHF. This, isn't this what we wanna encourage? Right here? And I don't care your race, creed, or color. I just don't care. I love that these people have come and made such a great contribution to, this, to the world. Vaya, se va. Voy a una cita de la... Ok, gracias Lidia. Mucho gusto y regreso para comer otra vez. Oh, ok, okay. gracias. Adelante. You can put that on the table, está bien. She just has an order rice, I'm taking a go. Ok, padre. Ok. Uh, siento, hundred dollars. Ay, chef, no es tanto, yeah. pero es algo. Para los niños que se motiven como... Yeah. So, I'm giving it to him, because he's your dad. And dads are better at managing money than little kids are. Because if we give it to little kids, they'll go out and buy video games, which is okay. I'm not anti-video game. You guys have earned it. I mean, if anybody deserves yeah, some downtime, necesita, yeah, they necesita. Está bien a jugar and be a kid. But that's not what we're saying in this video. Es lo que yo les enseño, que no jueguen mucho en los videojuegos porque... Hay una balancia de la vida, ¿verdad? There's a balance in life. Ni muy extremo, 
ni muy... Not either extreme, yeah. he's saying. Pero sí que aprendan que la vida no es fácil. ¿Está enseñó a usted tu padre? Did your father teach you these things? Mi abuelo. Oh, his grandfather. Mi abuelo, mi abuelo es el que me enseñó a, a trabajar. A trabajar. Y a que debemos de ser acomedidos en cualquier lugar que estemos. He said we can be comfortable in whatever location we go yeah. if we know how to work. ¿Era cocinero él también? No, él Was nunca he a cook? fue cocinero, pero trabajaba de todo. He wasn't a cook, but he worked cosas. in everything my grandfather did. Pues gracias a él. Thanks Estamos. to him. En la vida luchando. <laughs> Weird. Okay, and this is so wonderful, guys, because you're seeing, again, I really want to hammer it home, the embodiment of, call it what you want, the American dream, el, el sueño de México, si quieres. Sueño de México. De cualquier. <laughs> but, that if you know how to work, by Lydia, Bye. and you know how to work and apply yourself, I really agree what you're saying. You, can, you may not be rich, not but rich. you'll be comfortable <laughs> and you'll be able to put food on the table. I see. I see. Okay. Hey, I want to go out and look at your snow cone machine real quick, okay? Can you tell us what you're doing out there? I'm selling snow cones. Let's go out and show what shows your operation, okay? What's your name? Edgar. Edgar, like your dad? Yeah. So these are all three, right? So this is our snow cone operation. Dude, you're working hard out here, Edgar. Do you like working? What, do your friends work as hard as you guys do or no? I don't know. No? What do they do all day? Play video games. They do what? They play video games and watch TV. So what, what do they say, when you tell them, do they ever say, hey, you want to come play video games with us what, and you have to work, what do you tell them? Uh, I'd rather work than, than play video games. Okay, and don't tell me what you, you think I want to hear. You just tell the truth as it is. We love the truth. What's that, Edgar? Uh, I can't play today. Yeah, because you're doing what? Working? Working. Do you like, do you like getting money? Does it excite you, want to make you want to work more? How is the snow cone business doing these days, by the way? Good. How much money do you normally make? $12. $12 for all day. Do you have people, because you know, I dropped by, even before I decided to do an IHF episode, I dropped by and I gave him a couple bucks, just heck, right? Because I want to encourage what you guys are doing, whether I get a snow cone or not. Do you have people come and just give you money because they like to see you work? They're donating to your cause? I saw, that one guy I saw was doing that. He, I think he's another motorcycle guy. Really nice guy doing that. Do you ever sit at the behind the snow cone stand and goes, this sucks, I wish I was playing video games. <laughs> Come on, never? How, how late will you work? When do you wrap it up? Four. So you get up at six in the morning, in the summertime, you're helping here at the restaurant, and you get off at four o'clock. Yeah, at 10 in the morning. At 10 in the morning, you open your snow cone operation, and you'll run it all summer long. Do you have any goals, money-wise, that you'd like to make? Yeah, like $50. $50 a day would be a great day. Well, you guys made a hundred today. A hundred dollars is what Edgar, your dad, has. Hey, don't, you can tell him this, but it's actually your money. <laughs> but I gave it to your dad, because <laughs> he's gonna manage it for you. Okay, but don't let him just, you know, steal it from you. <laughs> okay, I have to leave. You gotta go? Yeah. You gotta probably go run and get supplies, don't you? I have to go to my doctor's appointment. Okay, well, it's nice meeting you. Good job. Good job, I'll see you again. Bye. By the way, thanks for watching my motorcycle. Okay, when I was eating, this is where I parked it, with the permission of the owner. Why? Because it's got two AKs on the back of the bike. Two guns. Do you guys want to see the guns real quick? Will your dad get mad if I show you the guns? Okay, check it out, dude. Uh, let me, uh, kids love guns, man. They go together like snow cones in summertime. Is that Lydia? Tell her, can she wait just a second? Just a second. Un momento. There's Lydia getting ready to leave. There's mom right there. See, check it out. Check that out. Yes, huh? It's a no, it's an AK. Well, it's an AK variant. It's called a pistol. That's actually a C39 Sentry Arms with a pistol brace on it. Cool. Bye. Bye, Lydia. Cool, huh? So this is why you're watching it for me. Make sure no one stole it. I'm going 
what do you do on, in the... I test the guns and I put the information online to help people. Police, law enforcement. Mira, padre. Who's it? It's a locate test. Tiro al blanco. Vayo al desierto para probarlo. Y los videos que hago, comparto la información con el mundo. Okay. De eso. De eso. Como la policía, uh, del militar y civilianos uh, responsables también. Así. Así va. Bonita moto. Uh, gracias. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Gracias. All right. That is a super, super fun episode. This is as good as uh, the one in Green River with... Uh, our friend down there. You guys remember that? This episode is just as good. Gracias, Usted, Edgar. Gracias. Yeah, I'll come back to eat more. Okay. I hope Tim Pierce will too. Uh, it's a story about awesome Mexican food for sure. I mean, that's pretty much the foundation, but more importantly, it's a story about a family who is creating the American dream and teaching their children how to work it's hard. It's a restaurant family from... The Royal is the last name. My oh, the Royal. Oh, yeah. okay. That's, yeah, that's your last name. Edgar Royal. All right, okay. say goodbye, Team Pierce. Bye. Thanks, guys. Very cool.